Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and why don't you uh, click on the Anne Makes there so you can subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And on this channel, you will see me do a lot of uh, store hauls, mostly dollar store hauls, art store hauls, that's kind of my thing, and uh, lots of DIYs and how-tos and product reviews, and of course, happy mail, because I receive a lot of um, arts and crafts supplies in the mail. Either I buy them, I do buy a lot of them, yeah, I buy most of them, <laughs> and a, a lot are given to me for my work. So... Without any more blah, 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 today I am sharing with you a Dollar Tree haul. That's right, people. A Dollar Tree haul that is in Canada. So that means we pay $1.25 Canadian, and we have many of the same items that our friends in the U.S. have, except for the exception that we have different craft items, and we don't have the fresh foods that you uh, in the U.S. may have. So this is a haul that I completely forgot about. It The bag has been sitting in the corner of my studio here for a few weeks. And I just completely forgot about it. So I apologize for being so late. And I have some more hauls behind me, bags of stuff and box of stuff, to share with you. So I will be shooting uh, the whole those hauls and separate videos and so you will be seeing me wearing the same clothes so here we go <laughs> my lovely assistant uh, snowball is actually here but uh, she is running away from me oh she just jumped on the desk here so maybe she will make an on-camera appearance I do not tell her what to do she tells me what to do so the first thing I will show you is these disposable cups. These are fantastic for taking hot or cold beverages, but I prefer these for the hot beverages when we're leaving the house and we're going somewhere and I want to bring my own coffee or tea. And there is Snowball. Say hi. Yes, and she likes these to put cat treats in. We don't do Anyway, so you get five of these, great for on the go, and excuse me, excuse me, sorry, I'm very sorry about the interruption here, but uh, that's what I live with. I also had purchased, and I forgot I had this, this cute little pouch, they have different designs, and I chose this one, I really liked the uh, nautical the classic nautical summer feel this had, so I got this. It's a very cute little uh, fashion wristlet, they call this. And, and if, you know, if I don't use it as a fashion wristlet, I will use it as a craft supply holder. So, the next thing I want to show you, oh, look at that. It's like finding treasures, since I had forgotten about this bag. And uh, are these little decorative doodads for uh, your home and this is what they look like up close so they have this like candlestick holder thingy base and uh, they have these faux seashells so this one's a starfish this one's uh, I don't know what kind of shell this is but it's another type of shell and I think they're they're like a a resin type of material, hard resin. And there's the, the conch shell. So I got these and I thought they might be cute in um, a bathroom or my bastard bathroom. And if I want them in my master bathroom, I will repaint the bottom silver so it would coordinate with the rest of my stuff. But I thought they might look cute Oh, along the edge of our our tub. So the other thing I picked up were these cute little uh, see well semi transparent pink colored uh, little plastic tumblers. I really like the color, 
And I thought, well, I'm not sure I would want to use these for drinks, but maybe for snacks in my craft room. Um, when, you know, when I have friends over, uh, my boys want to come in, and I don't know. Just thought my, they would be practical in the craft room here. I call it my craft room, my office, and my studio. It's all the same room, by the way. It's not like I have three different ones. I got these emery boards. I think the I like these emery boards that they have with the pretty designs. They're cute. I know they don't last as long as the regular, ordinary emery boards, but they're cute. So I got these, a pack of two. I was in need of some more of these tabs. These are from Jot. They're writable tabs. So I got that. And... Oh, yeah. I saw these cute little bath toys for kids, and I couldn't resist. I had to get them. I really like the crab especially, and I thought it might be cute um, and some sort of little decorative fairy garden thing. I don't know, some, or maybe in an, a fake aquarium. I just thought it would be really cute. But they're really cute little bath toys for babies. Or younger people yeah I don't know if they're, if they're safe but oh, so you get this pack of three and you get the little octopus starfish and the crabby so, that they had these cute socks and I, I love uh, pink so I got these I like that they're pink and gray and then these ones have cactus on them I think these are perfect for summertime they're just so cute and maybe I should wear these when I go to Phoenix. <laughs> so I have two pairs in here. And I got me a fan because it is hot in the summertime and sometimes it's just hot period. So this is something nice to have in, uh, I can put this in a bag, in my purse, you know, or and I got it in pink. Or, so to fan myself. Now, oh, I picked up a package of these placards in the mint flavor, and there's 60 in here, and we, we really like using these, and I, I personally, I, I like that it, they have this mint flavor. It's just nice. I got some more beads, uh, just because I like them. The, these are the Craft Medley glass beads. So, and I got the pink one too. I got two of the pink one. I really like pink. And I got another green as well. I also got this like pearl one, multicolors. I still don't know what I'm going to make with these. I might, I hope I figure something out, but I just really like them. And then I bought some of these uh, clear acrylic bowls that are sold in uh, what I like to call the party aisle, where you can buy the paper plates and things for uh parties and you know have if you're having people over to serve food and and whatnot and I think this is pretty it looks pretty good for a piece of acrylic and my intention is to turn this somehow into maybe a garden feature I, I'm not sure if I will do that I also got this one because I thought this might make for a cute uh, bird bath type of thing or to put plants and little decorations uh, and if I never actually use these in craft projects I know there will be a day where I will need extra bowls for some sort of get-together so I will have them on here and that happens a lot we have some we decide to do something we decide to have a dinner or a little party or whatever and we need extra bowls <laughs> Usually I go, oh, I've got something. Let me go dig that up. And it's it's in my craft stash. 
So, uh, yeah. Uh, I also purchased this package of three keychains. They're, they're the, what do you call these? The coil bracelet keychains. I got this. I thought it would be practical for my son to keep the key uh, either to a bike lock or any kind of lock and the house key. And he could keep it on his wrist when he goes out bicycling. So that way he it would be safer, you know, if it's on his wrist and stuffed in his pocket and falling out. So, oh, I picked up a lip seal, sensitive lip seal, because I swear I couldn't find the one that was in my car. So I thought I had to buy another one. And lo and behold, when I got in my car, I found it. So I just have a backup. <clears throat> now I know I bought those acrylic bowls and this sea glass because I, I had this idea in my head that maybe I could glue the sea glass to one of those acrylic bowls to make a really pretty type of bird bath or garden feature. I just haven't thought it out completely. So um, yeah, that's why I got this sea glass, all these pretty colors. And I think I got a few a few of these bags. I also purchased this package of paper plates with the pretty tropical flowers. You get 14 in here. And I just like using paper plates a lot in the summertime just because it, it, they're just so much fun. And when you have people dropping in and you want to throw something together, they're just a lot of fun and convenient. You know, so... And I just can throw them out when I'm done. <laughs> um, oh, I picked up some more of the magnetic pouches. That's right. I went back to get more of these. I had picked some up already. The, lot, the first one I went, I picked up one like this. It says Believe, Dream. And it's, it's like vinyl with a clear pocket with a magnetic back. And uh, when I was home, I realized, oh, there's more than one style. I'll have to go back to see if I can get the other styles. And I, I found them. So I think in the first video where I showed this haul, that I hauled these, I had these two. And I also found these two afterwards. So this is a pineapple and this is kind of green with little white hearts. So I did find a use for these. Because I have doors in my studio here that are metal, uh, I am using them on the doors for little items, little tools, little items, and it's just a space saver. Well, I, I mean, I was, it was just wasted space, and now it's not. It's being used uh, by these holders to hold stuff. I also picked up this book of Friendship and Joy. I thought the quotes in it were really, really cute, and I thought this is a nice way to find something to write inside someone's card, and uh, just to have some nice quotes for some of my mixed media work and journaling, so, or, you know, if I want to make a painting and I want to put a quote on it, this was, is pretty inspirational for that, so I put that. I got some more of these sticky notes. I thought uh, I would like to have a, a few extra in case some friends would like them or, you know, for friend mail. So I got the sticky notes. I got the coffee one with the donut and the uh, flowery notebook with the little petals. I had also picked up this bling, sticker bling, and this was a bride's wish. Uh, they called them swirl jam embellishments. Again, by Multicraft. Oops, let me show you this, what they look like. And you get four of the swirly things in here, so that's pretty good. And, oh, here's the acrylic plate I picked up for my kind of garden feature DIY thing. That This is the thing, I, the plate I, I was thinking of gluing the sea glass to to make some sort of bird bath. And I, I have like an old stand really retro wooden stand that was do you remember you might i don't know if you ever do you ever remember seeing this maybe at your grandparents house or something um they had stands it's a piece of little furniture it's like a little table 
to hold ashtrays. Well, I have the wooden part, the base of that. So I just thought maybe I could convert that into like a little bird bath or something. Uh, that's, that's my zany idea. I also picked up what I call these funky placemats. Actually, they're just called placemats. And did you know they're made from paper? Oh, these are 100% paper, twiggy things. And these are just fun to have to use in so many crafting things. Uh, they're, they're like web-like web looking or even like metalish, metal screenish looking. And they're great, in, uh, you know, against glass or behind glass uh, for making like home decor and craft projects. And uh, they also make placemats, good placemats. So I got some, I got two in the black, two in the gray that I, I considered I would reserve for some sort of crafting project. And I get, I got two in the brown that I would actually uh, like to use outside in uh, my gazebo. So, got that. Now I know a lot of people have already hauled these and I'm, I'm just uh, late in showing them, but I did haul them <laughs> a few weeks ago, are these uh, corrugated file holders, or I like to call them magazine holders. I love the vintage print. I would have really liked it if they had made a pink one uh, versus this kind of teal color, but it's absolutely beautiful. I still love it. So I got several of these. Just so I could update some that I already have here in one of my cupboards. I just think I have some of these magazine holders or corrugated file holders that are looking a little ratty. And I just thought I'd, I'd spruce them up a little bit. Now, uh, oh, the not much left. I also picked up a few more of these flamingo pens, these fuzzy, bobbly wobbly flamingo pens, uh, because uh, they're really, really cute, and I wanted to have some on hand to give away. And I think that's the same haul that I I picked up my to do uh, notebook. I I had seen the first time I had seen it, I I forgot to buy one, and then I kept thinking about it, so. I got it on this trip and I got this little flamingo guy to go with it and I just stick him in there and he's perfect and I just think it looks really cute in my studio here for the summertime. So that is that and oh one more thing I purchased this package of white hemp cord. Now the worst thing is I do not remember why and I knew I know that I purchased this at the time with something in mind but I don't remember what it was for so it's going in my craft stash and that is it for the forgotten bag of Dollar Tree haul uh, that I had here in a corner I hope you uh, enjoyed this and uh, or found it useful or practical or at least I made you giggle and that you will give me a thumbs up a like uh, please uh, leave comments, share, and I hope you are having a wonderful day, enjoying the nice weather wherever you are, and if it's bad weather, I'm sorry, uh, but there will be good weather another day. <laughs> so uh, have fun, take care, and I'll see you after the next video. Bye!